Hello, I'm Michael. Uh, since sharing my studies of Odie and John Arbuckle, I've been asked two questions several times, and I'm hoping to answer those questions for you today in this video of me doing an art study of Theodore the Chipmunk. The questions being, what is an art study, and should I be doing art studies for my art as well? I'll go on and say yes to the second question. If it's your first time working on a subject, doing a study can make a whole lot of difference. So just what is an art study? Well, it's simply studying the subject of your artwork by creating a quick preliminary piece done to help you prepare for the final piece. <clears throat> the study can be in whatever medium you like it to be in. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the same as the final piece, though, which is a great thing. You could do the final piece in pastel or whatever and just use graphite to draw it for the study. So, Art studies often help you make notes of things in the piece, such as proportions, poses, and more. For instance, you may want to know where the shadows of a subject fall and which method would be best to create them. You could easily use different techniques to shade in the areas and figure out what works best for each section. Some pieces may look great with all of the shading done in one way, and some may look better with different shading techniques in different areas. Art studies don't have to be at the final piece's size either. You can do multiple instances to help you decide on the details of your final piece. In this video, I'm drawing three different versions of Theodore. Uh, the first two versions actually <clears throat> help me figure out the poses, proportions, and art style. And I did use a reference from the internet for these two. The third version uses the first two as references and lets me finalize how I actually want to draw him. One thing that helps me draw characters in whatever pose I want is mirror imaging the character reference in my head. Uh, this is why the third version that I draw actually is facing in a different direction. Uh, as you'll see, I take my favorites for each pose and create my own version by throwing in a little of my own style as well. I draw his hands interlocked behind his back because I've seen him like that in the cartoons a lot as well. Uh, now, this study is done, but I may want to go back and do another study of just his head, and that way I can get his hair down a whole lot better. Uh, if you'll notice... I really didn't get his hair all that great, but in the third version that I'm drawing now, I do get everything else done the way I really want it to be. So that is what an art study is and what they're used for and how they are very helpful. And again, yes, you should do an art study if you've not done one before of a subject that you're working on. Uh, it just helps you prepare in the end for whatever you're doing. Uh, even comic book artists, a lot of them do art studies, and I don't know of any comic book artist actually that doesn't do some sort of preliminary work, which is the same thing as a study. You could call it thumbnailing or whatever you might want to call it at all, but that's what they are. Thank you for watching.